going to make overtures to a nation that they should try to join NATO and then not back it up, that's the worst thing you could do. So we took sort of the worst path with Ukraine. We were encouraging them, maybe you'll join NATO, maybe you won't join NATO. If you make an overture, maybe we'll consider it. And so that leaves them in an incredibly vulnerable spot because we're basically saying to them that you have to make overtures to us. And meanwhile, Russia is on your, on your eastern border. And so Russia is looking at that going... No, we're not going to we're not going to do this at all. If you're going to make a move, make it strong. In other words, but if you're going to have Ukraine yeah. join NATO, make Ukraine join NATO and you make sure that they have the armaments necessary to defend themselves and you have a mutual alliance pact. But if you're an independent armed nation, by the way, right now, like to me, the, the, the one long lasting ramification of this that's incredibly dangerous. If you're a non-aligned nation right now, you're not you don't have a mutual defense guarantee with either China or Russia or the United States. How fast are you looking for a nuclear weapon right now? I mean, you are looking like hell for a nuclear yeah. weapon right now because you don't want to be in a conventional war with a major power.